Well, hi friends, and welcome to Did You Art, the YouTube channel for people who don't take themselves or their art too seriously. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a change of scenery here. We're not back at home in my art studio. I am actually in Seattle, Washington. I came up here for the weekend with my mom. We do that once a year, have like a little mother-daughter shopping trip. And while we were browsing through a magazine looking for things to do, I came across an article all about Daniel Smith. Daniel Smith watercolors. I'm like, what is this? Turns out the Daniel Smith headquarters is here in Seattle. And I thought, okay, we have to go check this out. We have to see what it's all about. And apparently there is a store and you know how much I love art stores. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Let's go check it out and see what it's all about. So first of all, can I just say that my mom and I totally lucked out with this trip because literally the day after we left, Seattle got nailed with a massive snowstorm. So it was cold, but at least we weren't like wading through snow to try to get to the Daniel Smith store. So we really lucked out. So after a quick little cab ride, we made it to the Daniel Smith headquarters. What's neat about this location is they actually manufacture their products on site. They mill the pigment there and they mix the final paint product. We were not able to see this process. They do offer tours. Uh, my understanding is primarily in the summer, but that's okay because I had a lot of fun browsing around the store and talking to the sales associates. And by the way, the people that work there are the nicest people I've met in a long, long time. The guy that helped me out, he basically just followed me around the store because I was asking so many questions like, what's this? How do I use this? What do you do with this? And he was so patient and I learned a lot from him. So in addition to having great products at the store, the staff was super, super helpful. Really had a great time. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Daniel Smith, although that would be pretty cool. Um, this is just me sharing my experience and I really had a great time. And I highly recommend that if you are in the Seattle area, you stop by and check it out. So after a long but relaxing train ride back to Oregon, I unpacked all my goodies and I want to show you guys what I picked up. So first up, we got the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor Sticks. These are basically uh, pigment sticks with no filler, so they're awesome for being a mixed media tool and also taking watercolors with you on the go. I got Cobalt Teal, I got Opera Pink because you can never have too much pink in your life, Imperial Purple, Burnt Sienna, and Hasana Yellow Deep. I also picked up this little art bin container to carry them around in. And you can see that there's obviously a lot more room to add more of these colored sticks. And I think that's okay because now that I've been playing around with them, I do think I'm going to go back and get some more. So next up, we got the Daniel Smith watercolor ground in titanium white. My understanding is you can use this and turn any surface into something that you can paint on with watercolor. So canvas, paper, plaster, it says hardboard, uh, glass, plastic, metal. So basically I got this because we built a fence not too long ago around our house and we have all these really cool pieces of wood lying around that we're not doing anything with. And I'm like, wouldn't it be sweet if I could watercolor on to those wood pieces? So I'll give it a try. Let you guys know what I think. Now you can't go to Daniel Smith's headquarters without getting Daniel Smith watercolor. So I picked up two tubes. One is Kingman Green Turquoise Genuine and the other is Lunar Red Rock. Now I swatched them out, not like officially in my swatch book, but I found a little scrap piece of paper that's actually a Strathmore oil painting paper that came in my sketch box delivery this month. And look at those shades. Are you kidding me? Look at those colors. This is gonna be so pretty to do almost like Southwestern landscapes. I'm gonna have fun with these. So I also wanted to show you guys some of the kind of like randomy things that I picked up. Got a couple colored pencils from Karen Dosh. I got their luminescence pencils from that line. And then I got the Pablo colored pencils. One is in turquoise because it's like my most favorite thing. And then just your basic black and white because those will get a lot of use. But let's just talk about that bamboo stick you see down there on the bottom. That little bamboo pen stick, whatever you want to call it, I have been using that pretty much every single day since I got back from Seattle. This is the coolest thing to draw with and I will be uploading a video showing how I use this in uh, the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I've been really wanting to try these Caran pencils 
they're kind of spendy. Like every time I Google them, they pop up online and I about have a heart attack over the prices. But this was fairly reasonable. So I wanted to start out small, just get the set of 12 that was within my budget. Have you guys used these pencils before? What do you think? Do you like them? What is the difference between these and the other brands out there? Can you let me know in the comments? I'm gonna play with these. I haven't uh, used them yet, but just let me know what your experience is with them. So these pastel boards I discovered at Blick Art Materials store a couple months ago, and I am hooked. I adore these. They're a little more expensive than a lot of the other surfaces that I use, like paper and things like that, but they are well worth the price because if you love to use pastels, chalk pastels, they're incredible. So I've been using the little tiny pastel boards for my little bird drawings. This is a work in progress, not finished. But if you love chalk pastels, I highly recommend that you try out those boards. They're amazing. Okay, so then I picked up a couple pads of paper. I've got the Fabriano watercolor papers. There's 12 uh, sheets in each of these packs. I got the hot press. I got the cold press. I've never tried Fabriano before, believe it or not. And I know a lot of YouTubers swear by it. They love this brand. So I was curious to see if it lives up to the height. I'm going to have a lot of fun trying uh, different pieces on the hot and cold and kind of figuring out which surface I like the best. Do I like the one that's smooth or do I like the one that's got a little bit of a tooth to it? So I would say that my wild card purchase for this little shopping excursion was the Yuppo paper. And I keep wanting to call it Yuppie paper, but that's not correct. So this is a synthetic tree-free paper. Uh, it's non-absorbent. It's supposed to resist buckling and you can use a variety of wet media on it. And what's cool is you can wipe it clean. So if you screw up or if you think you screw up, like I often do, you can just wipe it away and start all over. So that's kind of fun. Have you guys used this before? Again, I'm gonna to toss to you. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's worked for you. Apparently you can use watercolor, alcohol inks, bunch of different stuff on it. So that'll be fun to try out. And last, but definitely not least, I grabbed this book called Colors of the West, An Artist's Guide to Nature's Palette. It's by Molly Hashimoto, and it looks like she is an artist based here in the Northwest. So that's pretty cool. I am pretty, weird about the books that I buy because they have to really speak to me. They have to be phenomenal. And this book, I spent a lot of time flipping through it in the store, is super, super cool. I really like it. If you want me to do a flip through video just on this book or any of my other books, let me know. But just an overview of it, the book is designed to get beginners of watercolors outdoors to really pay attention to their surroundings, to look at the textures, the colors, it's just a really good book if you're into painting landscapes. So those are the fabulous goodies that I picked up from my trip to Daniel Smith in Seattle. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I got. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And in the meantime, don't forget to art.